This is a message that God gave to Prophet Mazia from Swaziland. The video was originally recorded in Siswati, and so people who do not understand Siswati requested that I do an English translation of the video. And by the grace of God, I was able to do one and I am now finished. Yes, all for the glory of God. Amen. Sang down Jerusalem light, Ongwe longwe, Ongba bengulungu laga Israel. Nyabong angulungu nyabong amoyinwe. Nyatu uti labanye bata ulale labanye bata bata upata gadulum light. Nyatanda zangos mo kolo nange manda nanga moya in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Amen. Nge totanda gumbi ngelela. I would like to I would like to greet you brethren this morning in the name of Jesus Christ the one speaking is Apostle Mazia I am a prophet I am from Swaziland the time now is 13 minutes past three. It's a Tuesday morning. As I was sleeping, there is something that God showed me. This is especially directed to Christians and to pastors and also to people who are not yet saved. To all people, but this message is especially directed to people who are Christians. As I was sleeping, God came and showed me a vision. When God showed me this vision, he showed me the matter of us, pastors. Us, as pastors, we are not doing the right thing. As pastors, we are not doing the right thing. Our problem is that we preach for money. We are hungry. I saw a vision. Yes, yes. I saw a vision. I told God that I will pass this message. I know that others will listen to this message. Those that want to go to heaven will listen to this message. And God told me to wake up now and share this message as soon as possible because Jesus is coming and his footsteps are heard and his signs are being seen. In this vision, as I was sleeping, a man came and wearing white garments. This man had his mouth closed, but there was a voice that was speaking. He just looked at me. And, his, and this voice said, Do you see the people that are on their way to heaven? I was shocked. I said, I cannot see them. It's not, it's not possible to look at this man. He said, open your eyes. So I opened my eyes and saw. And he again showed me and said, do you see the people that are not going to heaven? I said, yes, I see them, Lord. And I opened my eyes. I, I asked this question don't these people speak in tongues till they cry don't they preach till they cry so wh what do you mean he said listen do not be intimidated by the fact that a person speaks in tongues or they prophesy or they testify or they pay their tithe but look at them if they have the truth, 
if they have my mark. I told him that I cannot understand what you mean. He said, do they have the truth? Do they have my mark? Then he showed me words that said, Tell the people, send this message and tell the people not to atone themselves for this world. Tell the people not to atone themselves for this world. He, he even said, I see that there are many pastors on earth. They preach, but not all of them are called by me. Only a few of them that I am using. As we were speaking about to these people, I said, I cannot understand you clearly. The, these people that he was talking about, they were modestly dressed. They were modestly dressed and they had head coverings. No one had artificial hair. Their hair was natural. They were modestly dressed and there were many of them. But there were not that many. There were not more than 300,000. But those that had artificial hair and had hair extensions, they were more than those that were modestly dressed. Then this man said, Do you see those who die with hair extensions, artificial hair? They do not go to God, but they go to hell. I said, how? Because these people pay their tithes and offerings and they pray and do all spiritual things. He said, they are told that they shall not adorn themselves for this world, but they do not listen. I was shocked. He said, even their leaders, some of them woke up in hell only to realize this truth and they are waiting for judgment on the big judgment day on why they misled these people because of their offerings and tithes. I asked, so what must I do? He said, wake up now, it's this time. I am leaving now. Wake up and speak this message. If you do not pass this message, you will be sick till you die. You will be terribly sick till you die. Wake up and speak this message and send it to people. Then I was shown that these people that were modestly dressed are the ones that are going to heaven. They had no nail polish on their nails. They had no earrings on their ears. They were not wearing trousers, but they were wearing modest skirts that did not show their thighs. They covered their heads. They were modestly dressed. These people were singing, beautifully singing. If I remember clearly, I was standing in front of them and I was preaching and preaching and fire fell down from heaven and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and tears began to fall down. And he said, these people are nearing their rest. They are laboring on earth, but they are going to rest soon. He even said he can compare them to the children of Israel. They are going to rest soon. He said, send this message that people should not atone themselves for this world. Pastors preach the truth. This is not the gospel that God wants. You are lost and deceived. The word of God says, in the last days, they will turn away from the truth and preach their own lusts. 
in the end times they will turn away from the truth as you see there are many churches but God is crying they have turned away from the truth they have turned away from the truth in these last days he said I should send this message if you hear this message just please do so if you receive this message please share it I beg you share it they were adorned adorned for this world I am only speaking what God has told me and not to remain silent because it burns me because it burns me I feel a heaviness in the spirit because of this message please 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 pastors please preachers please bishops please apostles the children of God are perishing. The word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. I know about the hardness of this message. Pastors and preachers and apostles and bishops will hate me. They will hate me for the truth. They will hate me. He even made an example of people and said which doctors they are going to hell he said go and tell them also that they should repent and he said I should go and tell people to stop worshipping ancestors he said these people are not dead but they are waiting if you die you go to heaven or you go to hell there comes a time there comes a second death where they burn forever but now you are still not burning forever. He said, I should warn about prostitution. He said, I should warn people about fornication. God is crying. Jesus is coming back soon. He said, I should warn about women's trousers. He said, I should warn about miniskirts. He said, I should warn about artificial hair, hair extensions. He said I should warn people about earrings. He said I should warn people not to adorn themselves for this world. This is a vision that God gave me this morning. He said all the people who do these things will go to hell. Will go to hell. Thank you. If you receive this message, please share it. Please share it to the whole world. If you heard it, please translate it into English and send it. I promise you, if you are sick, God will heal you. I promise you, if you have a problem, but God will solve your problem. Please, if you receive this message, please share it. It's a message I received this morning and I decided to share it. God even said, carry on my son and preach this gospel. Do not stop. I will give you a crown that you will receive on the other side. He said, people speak badly about you but they do not know that you do what you, what pleases me thank you everyone if you receive this message share it if you receive this message please share it thank you in jesus christ's name if you want to contact me plus two plus two six six Eight, eight, seven, seven, eight, eight, six, 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 seven, seven, zero, thirty-nine, three, nine. Please, if you receive this message, share it.